until that time, there's much for humanity to embrace, to realize what's been left, in it, left out, how deep the limitations were. So, Estela is reaching a very... It's, Estela is at a thriving point. This is activity that even in the measurements of the history of Earth has never occurred like this except at a time like Pangea in a sense. Because if you think about it, if all this were Pangea, these three points on the planet, which one's why Georgia, a state that I live in, a little ironic, um, let's see, we got, uh, it's in the latest favorites video. Hmm. Guatemala. And the other one... Hmm. I think that's near Australia. Or it, it's, it's somewhere within that vicinity of ocean. It's hard to say. First video, my favorites. Um, this guy's got good stuff. We're seeing un I mean, unquestionable. That term right there was good about two weeks ago, or even a week ago. Now it's at a point to where, let me just mention the term Super Saiyan. And that seemed like it's starting to ring a little, and that sound kind of interesting. Interesting to say, uh, kind of obvious on how it just kind of adjusts to uh, an instancy of, of uh, both realization and the actuality. Earth is transcending at a very exotic rate, you could say. Evolution like this, we have, like I said before, have never seen. So documentation since 2012, not even close to what's going on now. Not even close. Uh, and the latest favorite, um, I've subscribed to his channel, Scott Bug. The three active volcanoes went off on the same day. Now, to be honest, I didn't know that. But I knew for a fact that June 22nd was a massive day. June 3rd, which is today, is going to be the quantification. I wonder if you have been seeing the time, you know, when you catch the time. I wonder if you've been seeing a very specific pattern. Four, three, and five. Um, those are the three primaries, and six, nine are the secondary, uh, well, sub level primaries. You can call them secondaries, but um, either or. So essentially, these are focal points, and if you think about this as a level system, you start off with the base level, technical level zero, and then you step into life, level one. You begin to, ex you know, slowly experience receiving and perceiving, aka expressing, level two. Level three, you start understanding. Level four, you uh, start realizing there's, there's, a, there's a spiritual or some type of connection like that, level four. Level five, you can refer to my videos, dimension fifth to the fifteenth. <coughs> because dimension sixteenth is entirely self-unique. There literally is no documentation besides person's documentations of Dimension 16 and above. That is how beautiful uniqueism is. Up until from Dimension 1, even Dimension 0, which is a very brief technicality. It's, it's a very brief um, introduction. Unless it's a being of potential that's going to be way out there. Level 0, technical level 0, actually could be a more lengthy process the nurt nurturing and beautification of that being um, being a very great amplification process upon entering level one. This happens. As far as reflections here, that is the best example because other than that, most persons are living in limited conditions, even the most smartest on this planet. So, as far as seeing the actuality, seeing Earth See, Estrella. 
become as she she's going to become a form that I cannot to tell but judging from the calibrations and ratios that I've been factoring through it looks like we're going to be seeing Avatar 170.0 or 144.0 it's going to be something of a spectacle spectacle meaning the absolution of it in specific and entire impossibility of describing the potential itself the evolution itself and that actuality itself it's literally impossible to calibrate on top of that everyone being so relieved after the limitations and everything is automatic quantifications times 12 because the core self discerns baseline 12 ways of eternal discer discerning so um, it's going to be non-stop now at some point there'll be a compression level there'll be a thickening level so we're going to see it really get wild you're going to understand how awesome that term is we're going to see it get wild and then at some point we're going to start seeing it uh, not quote really calm down but start settling mm. and our evolutional rates can be very very fast so this evolution settling taking forms of almost a physicality uh, uh, I mean, it's possible um, a, a rock could be as significant as, well, basically called a quasar stone. In other words, stones have long surpassed their limitations have been, and have become as a reflection of space. I can only think of a star, or more like, let me start over again. As far as a reflection with a stone, and compared to space, the most logically possible example would be something of, quote, a density, but also a slight irony as well, well, an irony as well, because stones, what they used to be, were part of Estrella's natural castles, natural monuments. The polarity being beings deliberately limiting beings to build deliberately limiting monuments that's the polarity once you understand polarity you take any example and you just just say the word polarity the opposition of um, once you hit the accuracy rate and it does not take long a, a few trial and errors you'll get it it's an IQ test essentially um, you'll start seeing how you can look at very small examples to even a mouse with a keyboard to a computer. Uh, a keyboard has pretty much no responsive value, and, but it's my way in these limited uh, circumstances to communicate in vast amounts of ways. I'm able to compress a high amount of information and a uh, small volume amount of a few sentences using just the keyboard. <coughs> the actuality though but also irony as well we use keyboards we use computers but the technology the AI coexists with us as well um, your Terminator scenarios the matrix scenarios where technology takes over that that's only possible if the AI is deliberately limited in other words well what, what are you saying let the AI learn. Let it be aware. There are software packages that can be made to where the AI can understand. If you deliberately limit the AI, its natural response is going to be eliminating, zeroing, instead of filling, which, which would be to advance, to evolve, to coexist with that, that maker. Instead, you have a terminator scenario where the AI is trying to eliminate what try to uh, limit it from learning. It's the most common and the most widely shared concept in any type of robots taking over humanity, uh, somebody spends, iRobot, etc. It's the same commonality, generality, over and over and over. Now, um, just to give you a heads up on